the one thing that hurts the narcissist. You could argue that there are many things that hurt the narcissist. But if you look at it closely, it all comes back to one thing. There is only one thing that hurts the narcissist. There is only one thing that causes them pain and distress. And that one thing is rejection. The dismissing or refusing of their proposal or idea. The refusal to accept, approve or support something. The refusal to give them attention and admiration. The refusal to give them love or kindness. When you say no to the narcissist. When you don't let them get their way. When you go no contact. When you move on with your own life and find someone else. All of these things hurt the narcissist, but they're all different forms of rejection. Rejection is the one thing that hurts the narcissist. And it is also the one thing that will empower you. But it will cause a narcissistic injury because they are very afraid of rejection which is why they will usually try to love bomb you before they ask you for something. They will act nice. They will be very supportive of you because they're expecting something from you in return. They're expecting you to repay their kindness. Narcissists are very arrogant and entitled. They believe that they are inherently deserving of privileges and special treatment. They see you as an object that exists to serve them. They believe that you're there to make their lives easier. So you should do whatever they want. But if you need anything from them, they're not going to be there for you. But why does rejection bother them so much? Why does it hurt them? Why does it get under their skin? The reason why rejection hurts the narcissist is because they have no inner sense of value. So they need to get their value from outside of them. This is their narcissistic supply. They attach themselves to people because they're trying to fill this void that is inside of them. They're seeking an external sense of value, a source of stability and security to conceal their inner sense of inadequacy, which is why many of them are attention whores. They need constant attention and admiration. They need compliments and praise. They need a big house. They need an expensive car. They need the perfect partner. They need to have the top job. They need to have lots of money because it feeds them. It gives them that external sense of value. But they also get that external sense of value by devaluing someone, making them feel small, making them feel inadequate. 
the narcissist finds pleasure in doing that because it gives them a sense of control. It makes them feel like they're better than you. The narcissist targeted you for a reason. They targeted you because they thought they could get supply from you, which is why they often target empaths. They target people who are kind and generous. People who are going to help them. People who they can use to get that external sense of value because that's all they care about. They have no interest in giving you anything. They're just trying to get something from you. Maybe you're physically attractive. Maybe you have good connections. Maybe you have a lot of money. This feeds the beast. It makes them feel like there's something special or important because they can't connect to you on a deeper level. They lack empathy. They lack the ability to share your feelings and experiences. So they can't truly care about you. They only care about what you can do for them. But as long as you're bringing value to them, they will keep you around. If you're not bringing value to them, they won't have any use for you. But they may still keep you around just to use you as their emotional punching bag. But if you beat them to the punch and you discard them, you are cutting off their supply. You are taking away their external sense of value, which will cause a narcissistic injury where they will revert and deflate back to this frightened child state. Because something happened to them in their childhood, they experienced some form of abuse or neglect, which left them stunted at the emotional development of a child. So when you reject the narcissist, and it triggers a narcissistic injury, it causes them to experience those unresolved traumas all over again. And it triggers narcissistic rage, where they will have a temper tantrum. They will shout and scream at you. They will intimidate you. They will lie. They will make false accusations. They will start a smear campaign. They will try to turn everyone against you. They will make threats. They will stalk and harass you. Because rejection is the one thing that hurts the narcissist. It is the one thing they don't want to experience. So if you reject the narcissist, it's the worst thing that you could do to them because you're taking away their narcissistic supply. So they will go after you. They will try to punish you. They will try to get revenge because they feel entitled to it. They feel like it's their right. But rejecting the narcissist is definitely the right thing to do. It won't be a pleasant experience, but it's worse to continue to have them in your life. Thank you for watching. I hope this video ends it with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries 
You can email me at coaching at nagsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.